Hey guys, welcome to my new video. In previous video, we have learned about accuracy and precision. Today we are going to learn about errors and its types. If you are new to this channel, subscribe and press bell icon for more videos. Let's start. Before going to learn about the types of errors, let us learn about error. Measurement is the base of all experimental science and technology. The result of every measurement by any measuring instrument contains some uncertainty. This uncertainty is called error. In measurements, it is the difference between the true value and the measured value of a quantity. For example, suppose we are measuring the length of a mobile. Now the true value of the length of the mobile is 7 inches, but we have got the measured value as 7.2 inches. So there is some error. This error is calculated by the given formula. That is, error equals measured value minus true value. That is, error equals 7.2 minus 7 equals 0 0.2 inches. Now, let us learn about the types of errors. In general, the errors in measurement can be broadly classified as systematic errors and random errors. Now again the systematic errors are classified as instrumental errors, imperfection in experimental technique or procedure, and personal errors. Systematic errors. The systematic errors are those errors that tend to be in one direction either positive or negative. Are you thinking about what is error in one direction? Well, you will come to know about this in coming topics. Now, the first one is instrumental errors. These errors arise from the errors due to imperfect design or calibration of the measuring instrument, zero error in the instrument, etc. For example, temperature graduations of a thermometer may be inadequately calibrated because of which it may read 103 degrees Celsius at the boiling point of water at STP, whereas it should read 100 degrees Celsius. Another example for the instrumental error is in a vernier caliper. The zero mark of vernier scale may not coincide with the zero mark of the main scale, or simply an ordinary meter scale may be worn off at one end. Imperfection in experimental technique or procedure. To determine the temperature of a human body, a thermometer is placed under the armpit will always give a temperature lower than the actual value of the body temperature. Other external conditions such as changes in humidity, temperature, wind velocity, etc., during the experiment may systematically affect the measurement. Personal errors. Such errors arise due to an individual's bias, lack of proper setting of the apparatus, or individual's carelessness in taking observations without observing proper precautions, etc. For example, if you, by habit, always hold your head a bit too far to the right while reading the position of a needle on the scale, you will introduce an error due to parallax. Random errors. The random errors are those errors which occur irregularly and hence are random with respect to sign and size. These can arise due to random and unpredictable fluctuations in experimental conditions, for example, unpredictable fluctuations in temperature, voltage supply, mechanical vibrations of experimental setups, etc personal errors by the observer taking readings, etc. For example, when the same person repeats the same observation, it is very likely that he may get different readings every time. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, subscribe and share this with your friends.